Today I'll show you how you can open external links in a new tab or window. This is perfect if you want to allow users to visit the link without leaving your website. This will lead to higher user engagement because they spend more time on your site. And we'll cover a few different methods depending on what type of WordPress installation you have. So let's get started. The first one is by opening external links in a new tab using the block editor. From our dashboard, you want to go to the post that you want to edit. We'll go to posts, all posts, and pick the post that you want to edit. This is the post that I want to add a link to. So let's just say I want to add a link here. So I'm going to highlight this area and I want to link to this blog post. So I'm going to click on the link. I'll come back to my post, highlight an area that we want to add a link. We can come up here to the link area, click on it, and then we can paste the link in here and open in a new tab. Want to make sure that you hit the submit and now we have a link. Update your post and now all those links will open in a new tab. But what if you're still using the classic editor? No problem. We can do something very similar. So you want to highlight the area again. So we're in the classic editor. We're going to highlight the area. We just want to come up to insert link. We'll paste the link that we want. We can Toggle on the link options and open in a new tab and update. And now we have a link there as well. Again, don't forget to update your post and now you'll have the link opening in a new tab. The next method is by opening a new tab using HTML code. Sometimes you just need to add some HTML. And so it's usually if you're in the text editor portion of the classic or if you're in the block editor and you're in the text portion, you can add a link using HTML like this. And the biggest thing that you want to make sure that you have is along with the href opening, you'll also want to make sure you add target equals underscore blank. That's the parameter of this code that tells the browser that it opens in a new tab or window. Okay, now if you want to open a navigation menu link in a new tab, then you'll want to follow these directions. Go to appearance menus and we'll also want to come up here to screen options under screen options we want to click link target and i'll show you what that does in a second now we want to add say a custom link so the link that i've been using add that here give it a link text add it to the menu and now we need to expand this and now we can click open in a new tab. Come down here and make sure you click save changes and then that will open in a new tab for you. And if you have a newer theme, then the nav menu will be in a different area and I'll show you how to add a nav menu and open in a new tab with the newer themes. So I'm going to update my theme to the most recent of 2023. When I activate that, you see all of those items that were there are no longer there because it's a new full site editing system. So we need to go to editor instead. And we can click on this area, but to make it sure that we're in the right area, we can go to headers, group, row. For this, it's navigation. And the one we're working on. And then we want to add a block. Let's go ahead and add that. Then we change the text and submit it. Now we have an area where we can open in a new tab. You also see over here that it is a link as well. So we can save all this. And again, you'll have a new link that will open in a new tab. And now what if you decided that you wanted all external links to open in a new tab? You can do that by adding a plugin. It's called Open External Links and New Plugin. So let's go to Plugins, Add New. This is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click Install Now. And let's go ahead and activate the plugin as well. And then the great thing about that is 
there's nothing more that you have to do. All external links that are added to your website will now open in a new window. And if you want a few more Gutenberg or blog editor tips and tricks, then you can watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to use the blog editor for your WordPress site. And I'll see you over there.